Team Nicaragua is a student delegation that starts an ambitious three-phase process beginning in the spring, all in an effort to educate students about social and economic issues in one of the world's underdeveloped countries. So the first phase is more of like the prerequisite to the education. It's the development part. It's the part where you actually apply to the program and you learn about it and then you get accepted. And once you get accepted, phase one begins and you start raising funds. The second phase is actually the, for us, was 10 days of going to Nicaragua and just learning as much as we possibly could. So meeting all the people and just witnessing and just taking back this information. You start learning about things that you have maybe read about before and then you start experiencing things and you start meeting people and you meet with economists and you meet with people that run clinics out of their homes and people that work in official clinics and people that do peace promotion and fair trade and free trade and you just learn so many things that you've never even knew existed before and it's just such an incredible uh, opportunity. The students had many shocking and powerful experiences. None were more powerful than La Characa. I think for me one of the most difficult experiences was listening to the story of Yamile. Uh, she and her family lived off La Chareca, which is the largest garbage dump in Nic uh, Central America. And she spoke about how her daughter is really sick and that they found rice in the garbage dump that people had poured oil over because they didn't want the people who lived off the garbage dump to take it. And that despite her daughter being sick and this rice not being good enough for humans to eat, that they did the best they could to wash it off and that they had to eat it because it's the only food they had and that they would choose not to eat all day long just to try and gain enough appetite to eat this. And the families basically live off the dump. They try to survive off the dumps. So they use it for food. They use it to provide for um, financial means. They try to find any kind of glass or aluminum or any kind of you know, metals that they can sell and recycle and get any sort of money. So what they did is they developed their whole life around and they created these little communities Although the experiences in La Characa were difficult, the students were also able to see where differences were being made. Uh, Los Quinchos was probably one of the most amazing experiences from the whole delegation just because of what they do there. Um, Carlos Vidal, who created it with um, a woman from Italy, she actually came and saw the La Chareca, which is the garbage dump. There was children living there and in the streets because they had a revolutionary war in the 80s, which left a lot of their parents, you know, deceased. So they had just an influx of children just walking the streets, starving to death. And um, Carlos Vidal actually used to be one of those children, and he got an opportunity to get out of that lifestyle and to, you know, make a more better life for himself. So he, in turn, developed Los Quinchos for those children that have a similar circumstance for himself. The kids there, they're often abused. They're street children. They were beggars. Some of the girls were prostitutes. Some of them, a lot of them were on drugs. And we went to visit them, and it, it, was, it was fun. It was beautiful. We got off the truck, and all the kids, they ran up, and they were hugging us and kissing us, and they didn't know us. And they were using our cameras and taking pictures of us. And they did a show for us where they danced and had like this big party, and it, that was really nice. And especially for me, because I'm not usually a child person. Like, I don't, I, I'm, I'm not a kid person at all. Like, I like kids. In small doses, I don't like the whole running and grabbing all over me, but I liked it. I thought it was cute. Now that the students have returned, they moved on to the most important phase. Now the third phase is the activism phase, and that's saying, what did I learn and what can I do with it? Who can I share this with and how can I educate myself and others to make an impact and make change? <laughs> 